and all i welcome you all in today's video topic that is passive versus active replication so what is uh, passive uh, and the active replication is uh, for maintaining the replication transparency in two different architectural model are widely used the passive and the active replication so in passive application uh, replication every client communicates with the single replica that calls the primary and in addition to the primary uh, one or more replicas are used as the uh, backup copy so we uh, took one example for the passive uh, as well as one for the active replication so here in this figure uh, you can see the passive replication of servers where uh, there are set of uh, clients and the set of backup servers are there and the primary servers will be uh, used for uh, transferring the request from the client to the backup server if the primary is set up and the running is provides the desired service and if the request from the client does not modify the state of server no further action will be necessary if however the client mo action modifies the server state to the keep the state of the backup server consistent the primary performs and the atomic multicast of the updates to the backup server before sending the response to the client if the primary crashes one of the backup servers will be elected as the new primary so the primary backup replication architecture uh, satisfy uh, some specification so very first thing is at most one replica copy uh, one replica can be primary server at a time so it means the from that different backup servers if the first primary server is get crashed are not uh, available so in that case at least one backup server will be treated as a, a primary servers then second each client maintains the variable l that is a leader that specify the replica to which it will send the request and the requests are kept at this primary server and the backup servers ignores the client request so it means it must be Uh, followed through this primary servers so there are uh, there may be the period of time uh, when there is no primary server so consider a scenario if there is no primary server so this happens during the change over after the primary server has crashed so as i said earlier if the primary server get crashed so one of the backup server will be treated as a primary server and then your request will be carried out from the client reader to the primary server so uh, this happened due to the change over after the primary server has crashed and the backup server is yet to be uh, designate as the prim new primary and this period is called the failure time it means it takes some time to allocate or elect one backup server as a primary server so that period of time is will be called as a, a failure a failover time when the repairs are ignored and the primary backup approaches implement a service that can tolerate a bounded number of fault over the lifetime of the service so here unless specify otherwise the failure implies the server crash since the primary server returns the response to the client after completing and the atomic multicast and when the client received the response it issued at each unfaulted replicas and that has a received an update so these primary servers periodically broadcast hard bit message to the backup so if the backup fails to receive the message with a specific window of time it concludes that the primary has crashed and initiated an election so it means it they are taking some time of period uh, taking consideration of the time of period while they are receiving the response continual response from the primary server the new leader take over the new primary and notify the client so if the primary server is get crash so new backup server will be treated as a primary server and then it, this information will be uh, sent to the all client so based on that this uh, next figure illustrate the basic steps of the primary backup protocol 
so to maintain this replica transparency the earlier switch over must be inconsistent cons inconsistent but in real life they may not be the true so consider this following uh, following uh, description for the life of a client so first they start the do and the send for the request for the service and they receive the response from the server and if there are some time out there then retransmit the request to the server so it means they are trying to check they are trying to uh, check whether that server is live and getting the response request uh, or not so here in this also in the if this is a client side the middle layer is the primary and the last one is a backup so the client sends the request to the primary then primary sends the update to the backup server so that dotted line will indicates the heartbeat of the primary it means the primary server is live and they are getting the request from the client and they are sending the update to the server and if this primary get crash they, here you can see the crash start indicates the crash and they are not uh, getting the heartbeat to the backup servers so then if the backup server is not getting the response from the primary then it will be going to check for the election and then notify send net send notification to the client so through this they are in touch with this uh, client and a uh, backup while, while electing the new backup server as a primary server now the third is your uh, example of active replications so this uh, figure shows an uh, example where uh, there are n equals to four clients and k equals to four servers and each client message the multicast to each other servers so the each member i that uses her local copy we call it as a bi of the bulletin board so bulletin board is nothing but they are just replicating the passage to all so whenever a member post an update her local copy get updated and the update is propagated to the each of the server using the total order multicast so that eventually all copies of the bulletin board become the identical so here yeah, from zero they received the message m0 so they they sent the replicate the message m0 to b1 m0 to b2 and m0 to b3 in same case so b3 is having a message m3 then b3 broadcast this message and send the replica copy to this b2 b1 and this b3 so that's it from the passive replication and the active replication so we will meet in next video thank you